Hello, in this video, I'm going to discuss the similarities and differences between a tract and a nerve. Um, so both are collections of nerve fibers or axons that form essentially superhighways to carry information. Uh, now, the main difference here is where they're located. So a tract is located in the central nervous system, whereas a nerve is located in the peripheral nervous system. So they're essentially the same thing, just bundles of axons that are projected from uh, neurons uh, that are grouped together and traveling to similar locations. Uh, but the difference is that a tract is in the central nervous system, so they're located in the spinal cord and the brain, and nerves are located in the peripheral nervous system. So nerves project from the spinal cord and the brain. So they are branching off from the CNS and forming the peripheral nervous system. So tracts do not have connective tissue coverings, whereas nerves do. So nerves are held together by layers of connective tissue called the endoneurium, perineurium, and epineurium. Uh, tracts may be ascending or descending, uh, which really just refers to whether that tract, that superhighway is going towards the brain or away from the brain. Nerves are categorized as sensory, motor, or mixed, meaning does that nerve carry sensory information from the periphery up to the central nervous system, or is it carrying motor information from the central nervous system to the periphery, or both, which is a mixed nerve. Um, so cranial nerves are nerves that are leaving from the brain, and they may be sensory, motor, or mixed. And spinal nerves are nerves that are branching off from the spinal cord, and they are all only mixed. Um, some examples of traps would be like the spinothalamic trap, which is ascending, or the corticospinal tract, which is descending. And some examples of nerves would be like the vestibulocochlear nerve, which is a cranial nerve, or the femoral nerve, which is a branch that it's a branch off of spinal nerve. So it originates from the L2, L3, L4 spinal nerve roots. Um, and then there are a few different branches and coming together mergings of nerves. And then we get the femoral nerve. So those are just a couple examples, but really all collections of nerve fibers or axons that are outside of the brain and spinal cord, those are all nerves. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.